Understanding Snake Eater, a deep dive into English idioms. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel where we explore the fascinating world of English language and idioms. Today, we're going to delve into a particularly interesting phrase, snake eater. Stick with us as we uncover its meanings, origins, and how you can use it in everyday conversation. Snake eater is a phrase that can have several meanings, depending on the context. Primarily, it is used to describe someone who is tough, resilient, or able to handle difficult or dangerous situations. This idiom often carries a sense of admiration for the person it describes, acknowledging their ability to endure challenging circumstances. The term, snake eater, has a fascinating history. It is commonly believed to have military origins, particularly associated with special forces. Soldiers in these units often undergo rigorous training and missions in harsh environments, sometimes symbolized by the idea of being able to eat snakes to survive. This background gives the phrase a connotation of bravery and survival skills. You might wonder, how can you use snake eater in daily conversation? Here are a few examples. In admiration, my grandfather was a real snake eater during the war. He survived several tough battles. Describing resilience, you're a snake eater for getting through such a difficult time in your life. Remember, while it's a compliment, it's usually reserved for situations that truly warrant such a strong descriptor. Snake eater has also made its way into popular culture. It's notably used in video games, movies, and books to depict characters with extraordinary survival skills or who are part of elite military units. This usage has helped popularize the phrase and broaden its appeal. That's a wrap on, Snake Eater. This idiom is a great example of how language can capture the essence of human resilience and bravery. We hope this video helps you understand and use the phrase confidently in your English conversations. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more interesting explorations into the English language. See you next time!